Hey, Mariana and Fuquay Verena, North Carolina that is, for those of you who don't know. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com and you better know that. No, I live about an hour, hour and a half away from this town. I used to have to drive through there to go to the beach. Everyone around here just knows that town. Um, but I guess if you're outside North Carolina, how would you know Fuquay Verena? So, but uh, Mariana is getting the Ray-Ban 7031 color 2301, which is the tortoise in the 53 eye size. Her husband, Brett, is getting same frame, larger size, in the color 5620 and the shiny gray. These took a little while to come in from overseas, but they're here, so let me cut both of them getting Crizal Sapphire lenses. Both of them got a pair of glasses from me roughly about a year ago. And even though I'm I've been doing this about five years on the website and I'm used to the repeat business. It never gets old when someone comes back and says it's the best pair of glasses I've ever had. I've never, the Crizal Sapphire is the clearest I've ever had. Absolutely amazing and it's just nice and uh, I'm a little emotional today and I'll tell you why in a little bit. But let's begin. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and trace your frame into, programmed into the computer. Um, each frame comes with a plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course, this is the Ray-Ban Light Ray, which is a series. Of <coughs> I am all choked up, but for different reasons. Again, this is the Ray-Ban 7031, color 2301, and the 53 eye size 17 bridge. And I'm going to go ahead and begin by popping out the original demo lenses. I'm putting the frame into the tracing element of my blocker. Your secret agent 1386. I will program that into the computer. So years from now, should you ever need new lenses? Of course, your insurance pays for a new frame every year. And that's what they do. I give them an itemized receipt for the frame and the lenses. And they get reimbursed by the insurance company. So I'm going to hit the start button. A little stylus is going to go around and trace the inside. Come on, cut it out. Inside. <laughs> okay, now we're good. The inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine authentic Ray-Ban frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. As I mentioned, my receipt has my federal ID tax number. I give you the itemized V code so you will get reimbursed for this purchase whether they are prescription or not. Well, you'll get your allowance, whatever that happens to be, I should say. So, just a moment, that shape will pop up on the screen. Come on, pop, 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 pop for me. So, let's move that on to the next screen. Your pupillary distance is 66, which is 33 in each eye. The computer starts at 32.5, so only have to tap the plus button one time because it goes up in half millimeter increments. I do want to raise the optical center height up to 20. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and mark that 20. And I'm going to come down here. Your right eye is minus one and a quarter. Your left eye is minus one and a quarter. Minus one and a quarter, minus one and a quarter. Let's put some ink into the lensometer. And I'm actually only going to do one dot. Because I only need the center dot. You have no astigmatism. So I literally only have to do the optical centers. Take the lens out of the protective packet. Inside that is a little laminate on the front of the lens that protects the lens for nothing rubs on it during shipping. Pull that off, stick that there, put the lens in there, put the power, actually let's make sure everything's on zero. I haven't moved the prism ring. Put that on minus one and a quarter. Find the optical center of your lens and then put one dot on your lens. And this is going to be the right lens. Let's do the same thing now for the left. And actually, let's do something else too. Let's mark this minus one and a quarter. And these are the Crizal Sapphire 360 with UV. And this is the right lens. Everyone's going to get the original packaging to know that you are getting Essilor. Airwear, aspheric Airwear, Crizal Sapphire 360 lenses. In fact, let's pull again. You can see as I tear the packet open and take the lens out put that in there find the optical center i've got too much stuff in my hands i got too much stuff on my mind <clears throat> and let's use it in 
red this time. This is the left lens. Let's go ahead and mark this one. And there's two ways you can do the power on here. There's plus cylinder and minus cylinder. I do everything in minus cylinder. And again, that is the left lens. And if I don't need to remind you guys, if you missed anything, let me recap. <laughs> oh, it feels good to laugh today. Um, okay, so this is a block, or as I like to call them, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it's cutting. So I've got two without the stickers on there. I'm going to put that in the trash, but I'm going to put these two stickers onto your lens. The black side is the sticky side. Stick that on the first one, place it on the platform, do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet that's on the back with that. That black dot, the blue crosses the geometric center of your frame. Your eye is just above that and inset. Make sure the lens is large enough, which it is. I just always like to look. Hit that button. The arm's going to come down, place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right which will be played by the left lens. Pull the sticker away, line up the magnet, same pupillary distance on the left side as it was the right. Hit that button, the arm comes down, places the block on the left lens. Now this is the edger, this is what's gonna do all the work while I run my mouth. I'm gonna place the, well, let's wake it up. One, three, eight, six, one, three, eight, six. These are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that, but we're going to stay on polycarbonate. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens. I am going to put the lens in the machine and hit start. Please notice my clean door that I cleaned just before this video. But the door closes, the clamp shuts, the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, which I need to clean also, all things in time. Go around making sure it's large enough to fit into the frame. And the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once, is measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, essentially giving you the best cosmetic look possible. So the wheel has begun spinning. In just a moment, the lens will drop down onto the cutting wheel. The light you see flickering in the background is water. It will catch the optical sawdust and wash it away down the drainage pipes underneath the counter. Now, polycarbonate lenses cut dry, where plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex lenses cut wet. Now, polycarbonate is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. These are also high-impact ballistics-grade lenses, the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and flying debris. Now, it also has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun. Where? Where else? In Fuqua Verena. Now you also have the Crizal Sapphire. That's the only upgrade that you chose. You get the thinner, lighter weight lenses at no charge. Crizal Sapphire is three features in one. It is uh, an anti-reflective coating, well, anti-glare coating. So it reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, but from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead, fluorescent lights and such. Now, if you notice your lens is flat, just like a nickel, if I were to take it out now, it would stand up on the counter. In just a moment, it will drop back down onto the bevel wheel. But it also goes by the initials ARC, which stands for anti-reflective coating. So it reduces reflections. And if someone's looking at you, they won't see their reflection in your glasses. Or if you take a selfie, you won't see the phone in your, in your, in your lens. And you guys were one of the first to get it because at one time, this was the clearest. It still is, excuse me. But you, it is the clearest of all the anti-glare coatings. Her husband, Brett, is a photographer. Mariana, Mariana is her his favorite subject, and why wouldn't she be? And he says this is the least amount of glare he's ever done from any photo shoot, these lenses. The clearest. So you can focus on the subject. And that's why they came back and purchased. Now, in just a moment, a little wheel will come out and put the safety bevel on. But what I was alluding to before, I just want to take a moment to get serious. That old saying, you never know. Well, tomorrow is promised to no one. Tell everyone you love how much you love them and as frequently as you can. 
the person who probably played the greatest role in getting me through opticianry school. He was the lab instructor. He taught me how to cut lenses. But there were a lot of mathematical formulas, and I was terrible at math. Let me rephrase that. I was terrible. Um, I used to work 11 to 7 when I was in school. He would get to school around 8. I would be sitting on the floor outside his office at 8 a.m. every morning my second year of school. He would go through the math with me. He would tutor me. He would do everything. He taught me to do what I'm doing now. Very few opticians actually cut their own lenses. That's why when you go to an optical shop, they tell you come back in a week or two. That is why. Of course, I had to tell them that because their frame was on back order, the colors and sizes they wanted. But he got me through school and I was notified that snapped in there. Let's start cutting the left. Flip that over to L, line up the magnet. But his 13-year-old daughter, Skylar, got the flu this past Saturday. There were complications. They thought she got a blood clot. She couldn't move her right arm or right leg or vice versa, left side. They did open heart surgery. Short story is she did not make it through surgery. Healthy, loving, fun-loving 13-year-old girl. Healthy as she could be last week in school, laughing, playing, caring, doing all the wonderful things that 13-year-olds do. Looking forward to the impact that she would have on this planet as an adult. Catches the flu and in some freak incident, as it does happen. Of course, it always happens to someone else. You never think it would impact someone that you actually know and care about. But she was dead within 24 hours. Great hospital staff nearby. There was just nothing they could do. You never know when it's your day. I cannot imagine the pain that he and his wife are going through right now. There was no long, arduous battle with cancer. There was no preparing yourself knowing that that day would come. As a parent, you expect to outlive your children. You never imagine you'd be bearing one of them, especially when 48 hours earlier, there were no signs, no symptoms. I'm sorry, give me a minute. It's true. It's funny to me who rambles all the time is at a loss for words, but it cannot be said enough. If there's someone you love, tell them. Don't let them assume that. It's easy for me to say my anniversary is this weekend and I'm going to take time off and go away and make sure she knows that she's the most important thing in life to me. And, uh, so everyone out there, just let the people near to you and dear to you know that. Sometimes it's hard to say for whatever reason, especially as a guy, a sign of strength or masculinity or, or macho-ness, you don't tell the people, just do it. Don't do it for you, do it for them. 13 years old is way too early to give up this precious time on earth. I have not reached out to him or his wife yet because so many people have. I was giving him time. I've done enough volunteer work with hospice to know that when you do sit with someone who's mourning or close to losing someone, that when you go in to sit with them, don't speak. Wait for them to speak to you. They may not be ready to speak yet. They may not have the words. Sometimes just being in a room with someone is comfort enough. But he did uh, get back on Facebook today and I saw that, which I can't believe, but uh, Tyler was a donor and she donated her eyes so that two blind people could see. I don't know if it was the eyes, the corneas, the retinas, the all, the all the other parts of the eye, the muscles. But because of her, two people now have vision who didn't. 
but it could be worse. I could be Larry. <laughs> no, I shouldn't even joke at a time like this. But, uh, man, so, whew, puts everything in perspective. We work hard, we try our best. I'm hoping that's it. If not, we'll see. Well, let's just see. It's supposed to be 66 millimeters. But, and that it is, but I'll get back to that later. You're minus one and a quarter in each eye. The show must go on. It's hard to know how to just keep going some days. Minus one and a quarter. I'm sorry to be so choked up in this video. Minus one and a quarter. Excuse me, never done this in a video before. Now let me clean your lenses. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't worry, I won't do that. But your pupillary distance is 66 for both eyes. Turn the card around. Of course, I can't even see. I gotta put my glasses back on. Place the PD stick against my thumb on the millimeter side. You want to hold it up to the left lens, we're seeing 66. You know, I won't mention his last name. His, the father, my former teacher, his name is Brent. Every day that we sat down in school, there's an eyepiece on here that you're supposed to adjust. And I better bring that back in. But you adjust it for you. You focus it in for your powers through your lenses. If you're 2020 or wearing glasses to make that reticle just crisp as it can be, to read the power he hammered that in every single day that we were in school along with ANSI standards which I'll get into another and that might be make a good topic but his nickname was adjust your eyepiece because um, that's what I thought about because he would tell me that every single day adjust your vision Whew. oops don't worry you got the hardest scratch coating possible. But this is the time in every video as I clean your glasses. I mentioned that when you get these in the mail, there's free shipping. And of course, free shipping anywhere in the U.S. And a town an hour away from me is still in the U.S. But when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance... That one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear, <coughs> excuse me, one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get them in standard alignment first. It's also known as a three point stance. The three points are one, two. The bottom of the frame is three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. When I say wobble, when I take mine off and press down on the counter, they sit, uh, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. I'm going to flip these over, make sure they press down equally. They do close each temple to make sure they overlap and that neither temple is askew like that. So, Mariana, I'm sorry to get emotional in your video. I'm sorry to have to do it in anyone's video. I'm sorry to get news like that. I'm sorry for my friend and my instructor who played such a key role and helping me find my direction in life. It was very nice of him to post and find something positive that came from that, that uh, she was able to donate her eyes. You have 72 hours to donate organs, especially from the eye. That's where the cornea transplants come from. You have 72 hours. So those of you who are organ donors, thank you. God bless you for doing that. hope there's a special place in heaven for you for making other people's lives better. We are here on this planet for such a short time. Find meaning, find your passion. If it means going to work for yourself or doing something that you love, do it. Don't be afraid to fail. You only get one chance in life. And if you do fail, you'll learn from it and then you can move on and do better the next time. I worked for other people before going into business for myself. It's scary. Life is scary. Don't ask for an easy life. Ask for the strength to get through it. And I don't know where he's going to find his strength. 
I don't know where anyone finds their strength. I'm just glad that they're able to and to keep moving forward. I'm sorry that this video is a little different than most. On other videos, I promise to be cheerful. Subscribe to my channel. I promise to be better. <laughs> I won't be so emotional on the other ones. But uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as freeprescriptionlenses.com. On Twitter as freerxlenses. You can email me at uh, the contact me button on the website or on uh, freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. Or you can leave a question or comment in the comment section below. In fact, on a completely unrelated glasses thing, I want the people out there who are watching tonight to comment on someone who made an impact in their life. And uh, what it means to you today. So again... Mariana and Brett, thank you for your repeat business. You got the same frame last year. Brett got this frame in Tortoise, and so now his wife's going to get it. It's going to be his and hers. He's changing to a different color. He's going to get the shiny gray. My wife and I wear the same colors. I'm wearing the adult size Rayman 2132 and the 52 eye size. She wears this frame in model number 9052S, which is the kids' new Wayfair in a 48 eye size. It's smaller. The temples aren't as long. It fits her better, but wherever we go, we always wear matching glasses. I'm glad you guys have each other. And everyone else has got the chance to see how it brings that love and feeling back to glasses and to anything else that you can possibly love on the short time that you're here. Thank you for watching.